on Monday the 15th of June, for the very first time, the Sheffield Sea and Royal Marine Cadets hosted a virtual Liberation Day parade via the sharing site Zoom. Of those in attendance were MLA Roger Spink, the Lord Mayor of Sheffield Tony Downing and the District Staff Officer Sergeant John Daly. So initially um, we had a VIP lounge, so the VIPs came in and we did a quick introduction to everybody. Um, so you all knew you were talking to, so we had the, the, the Lord Lieutenant, the Vice Lord Lieutenant, the Lord Mayor, uh, the MLAs, uh, and all, all the guests were all um, introduced. Then the cadets came in and introduced themselves, so the three corporals introduced themselves. Um, and then we had the video um, kind of presentation about the, the Falklands conflict, which I think was... Um, really well presented really well presented yeah. so they, they, they've done it in their houses um, and then we had um, our um, secret or unit um, bishop actually gave a, a prayer ceremony um, we had the last post um, the Kima Heptaph um, and then Re uh, Reveille uh, um, uh, and then we closed the, the presentation I would like to say thank you for attending this online presentation and memorial service. The Sheffield cadets have a significant association with the Falkland Islands, as former Marine cadet Rob Griffin had fought in the 1982 conflict and was buried at sea following the sinking of landing craft Vitality F4 from the HMS Fearless on June 8, 1982. In October last year, Emily Leona Roberts had presented the Falkland Islands flag to the cadets, which flies every year for five days after Liberation Day. The cadets wanted to show the people of the Falkland Islands that even though we are 8,000 miles apart, we are still um, still a part of your community and we still are interested in what you, what, what's going on over there. Um, and we want you to see that we, we are. You know, we didn't just pick the name, we just got oh, Falkland Training Centre. The... There's a lot of thought gone into that. We want to be a part of that community. Um, and just so you're all aware that just just here, a little part of South Yorkshire, there is a part of the Falkland Islands just sat here um, that young people are rightly proud to be associated with. And I think one of the cadets actually said that at the end of the presentation, that we'd never forget, um, no matter how long, we will never forget that, that, that we're a part of that, that community. We, we're very proud of, of that link very proud of the link that we have um, and all I want to see is, is see that develop and become even further.